That scene behind him is crazy, man. Yo, what's happening, people? It's your boy, Peely9, and I'm back with some more reactions. Let's get into it. You know, I'm trying to shorten up the intro. We've got Bobby Sativa, Wavy J, Reality. So let's get into this one. Obviously, remember to keep your reaction requests coming in the comment section down below. And yeah, man, let's keep it popping. Let's go. Damn, you cooking again, Fuego? It's cooking again. It might be evident to... Evident? It might be... Uh, Crucial to say that um, I haven't listened to these guys before, so this is fresh. I'm liking the beat so far. What is that, like a little like flute or something? Ooh, ooh. On the block. I need to escape this reality. Okay. I don't know who who picked this scenery or who picked like this um this like scene or who whoever's behind the camera. I don't know the pro producer or whatever, but that scene behind him is crazy, man. And he's suiting the vibe of the tune. I'm liking the tune. It's quite like it's like a a tune you jam to. Could be chilling in a whip, whatever. You know what I mean? But um, it's a nice vibe so far. is a banging shot that is a banging shot look at that man where is that that's hard how did he get there sorry I, i'm i'm uh i'm <clears throat> the tune's good the tune's good i i, I let me focus on the tune I'm, I'm loving the scenery though i'm loving the music video and it does matter it does matter Especially when you're on the way up, like, I think everything matters. Like, obviously, if you're a Drake or, or someone, like, it doesn't matter what. you obviously got the produ production values behind you and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't really matter what kind of what kind of music video comes out. You're still going to watch it or you're still going to listen to it. But when you're coming up, like, Bobby Sativa and Wavy J, I don't know which one this is. I, I'm assuming this is Bobby Sativa because it's his tune. I might be wrong. Um but this kind of stuff matters, man. When you're elevating, elevating, and you're on the ladder, man. This this matters. So fair play to him. He don't know what lane he wants to take. He just he just wants to levitate. So I'm wondering if they're always on this auto tune kind of vibe. I don't know where they were before. Like I don't know if they were barers before or they've come straight into the scene into this like new wave of like artists that are, are riding this kind of wavy uh, vibe at the moment. I don't know, but this song to my ears again. I'm not really like I don't really listen too much into this kind of genre. I do like it, especially when it's like in hooks of, of like kind of like what i'm listening to um but <clears throat> to, for my ears maybe i'm wrong correct me down in the comment section down below but for my ears this would slot into a playlist definitely like it would definitely slot into this kind of genre 
uh, on a Spotify playlist and, and wouldn't sound out of place. Everyone wants to hate, man. Everyone wants to hate. I, I don't know why, man. I don't know why, but fuck them. It's all fake. Sit down, relax, and let's take. You see, let's take fly on a late night. You see, we're in the sky. You will see my rage. You will scare this reality. Don't get mad at me. Cause every day in my brain, it's about to see. Transitions really smooth, man. Real smooth. The production levels on this is nice. Run away, catch it. You know what? I just had dinner as well, so I'm making sure I ain't got no crumbs around my mouth. Shout out to Fuego Fernandez on that production, man, because them productions are heavy. Um, shout out to Bobby Sativa and Wavy J. I don't know which one's which, but I'm sure Bobby Sativa was the one that was uh, that carried the whole tune in terms of when I say carried, I mean like done the majority of the, you know, he was at the beginning and in the end. Uh, yeah, great tune, man. Um, again, not something that I personally listen to on a day to day basis, but something like if it was trash, I'd say it's trash. It wouldn't even be on his channel. That's just how I am. Um, I don't like to put negative waves out there. Critically analysing it, because that's what I think will help. Um, production levels up there, keep the production levels, quality, keep the type of music video. Um, Fuego, keep him if you can, man. He That, that was a, that was really nicely mixed and nicely produced. Um, maybe one little thing, maybe it's just because maybe i might be wrong one little thing for improvement is like try and have a bit more of a wow factor if you get what i'm saying like try and uh try and um <clears throat> i don't know there was nothing extraordinary there there was nothing that would be like controversial or not you don't need to be controversial but you know something that pops out from that music video it was like a fantastically produced song great visuals good like good vibes it had everything but like it how is this going to attract to like a wide audience? How wide of audience going to pick this up? Do you get what I'm saying? But um, apart from that, man, keep doing your thing. Keep dropping tracks like that. And uh, yeah, man, you know I'm keeping the intros and outros short and sweet nowadays. If you like this video, thumbs up. Leave more comment reactions. Request down below. And yeah, it's been your boy, Peely9. And I'm out. Peace.